I love chili dogs, and I made a chili recipe video. So just whip this up and put it on a hot dog, right? Well, not exactly. The chili I made in this video is too coarse and chunky to fit on a hot dog. And unless you have the unhingeable jaws of a rattlesnake, it's gonna be a little hard to eat. So, let me show you how to make it a nice, slick, smooth chili dog chili. Now to make our hot dog chili, grab one pound of 80-20 ground beef and just dump it into a two-quart sauce pot. Then add two and a half cups of water to our pot. Now using your hands, break up the beef and just emulsify it into the water. All right, this is what it should look like right here. All right, let's transfer the rest of this to the stove. Okay, we have our chunky beefy slime on the stove. And to that, add one 16 ounce can of tomato sauce. Toss in some water, swirl around to get any excess off. Add in our chili spices. What's in it? Let me play you this clip from my chili episode. One tablespoon of chili powder. One tablespoon of cumin. A teaspoon and a half of Mexican oregano. Two teaspoons of smoked paprika. A teaspoon and a half of black pepper. Half a tablespoon of garlic powder. And a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Oh, and uh, two teaspoons of onion powder. That's the only difference between this chili and the regular chili. All right, mix everything in. Of course, we need something to thicken and bind everything. So, I made a masa slurry. Again, here's a clip from the chili episode. Just take half a cup of masa, add to a bowl, then add enough water until you get something that's the consistency of porridge. Okay, mix it all in. Bring this to a boil over high heat. Okay, once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat down to medium low and let it simmer for 45 minutes. Anyway, after 45 minutes, this is what our chili should be looking like. Nice, thick, and sauce-like, and it's ready to go on a hot dog. Speaking of which, now let's talk hot dogs. Which brand do you go with? Some prefer Nathan's, others prefer Hebrew Nationals, others prefer the classic Oscar Mayer. To which I have to say, you're a bunch of noobs. Here's what a real hot dog OG goes with. Hoffy Hollywood Style Natural Casing Frankfurters. You know, if you want me to deep throat tubified beef, you've gotta have the natural casing hot dogs. Now sure, natural casing frankfurters are a little hard to find, but please do your research and find them because it's gonna make a whole world of difference. And if you've been to Pink's Hot Dog Stand in Los Angeles, well, these are the exact same wieners they cook and serve. And we're gonna do it the same way they do it at Pink's. I have here a steamer basket, which we're going to set over high heat. Okay, once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat down to medium low. Place in a couple hot dogs. And let them steam for a good couple minutes. Anyway, after a few minutes, take our lid off. All right, grab a hot dog bun, hot dog it up. And grab about eh, a spoonful of chili. Top it off with shredded cheese and dig right in. No clever saying. I've been looking forward to this all day and I'm so hungry. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. And yes, I know I recycled a ton of footage in this episode. It's 100 degrees today. Cut me some slack.